Interview or out on a date, your hands do a lot of talking. Manicures are a must. Hello Gorgeous is a full service salon, so let us help you make a great first impression. Call us today to set your appointment at Hello Gorgeous. Our number is 352-351-5358. Again, that's 352-351-5358. Hello Gorgeous is conveniently located in the heart of downtown Ocala, right next to the historic Marion Theater. And don't forget, we also do men and children's cuts too. Hello Gorgeous. It's time, time for the best flower show of the season. It's the Camellia Show Spectacular in full bloom right now at Bob Wines Camellia Gardens in Ocala. Don't miss this free show. Hundreds of trees, millions of blooms, all over five plus acres. More camellias than you've ever seen in one place. And remember, you can start your own camellia collection with Bob's famous heirloom camellias starting at only $14.99. And check this deal on his Azaleas, budded and blooming. No, make that ever blooming azaleas. Not ten dollars, not seven dollars, just three ninety nine with plenty of larger sizes available. Don't forget the tree sale. Buy one at Bob's super low price. Get a second tree for half price. It's here. It's now. Bob Wines Camellia Garden, Southeast Thirty Eighth Street, Ocala. Daily till four. Saturdays till two. Don't miss that Camellia Show spectacular. Do you suffer with pain, numbness, and tingling in the hands or feet, often diagnosed as peripheral neuropathy? Are you taking drugs such as Lyrica, Neurontin, or Gabapentin that never seem to fix your problem? Has your doctor told you to just live with the pain? Peripheral neuropathy is a result of damage to the nerves, often causing weakness, pain, numbness, tingling, and the most debilitating balance problems. This damage is commonly caused by a lack of blood flow to the nerves, which causes them to begin to degenerate. I'm Dr. Walker, DC, of Ocala Spine and Injury. Our new treatment methods can provide relief from neuropathy as long as your nerves have not sustained at least 85% nerve damage. I will do a neuropathy severity examination to determine the extent of the nerve damage for only $70, consisting of a detailed sensory evaluation, extensive peripheral vascular testing, and a detailed analysis of your neuropathy. Call 732-5590 to make an appointment. That's 732-5590. There you go. Twenty five minutes. Thank you, Doctor. So, uh, Twenty five minutes before eight o'clock. I was. I'm really getting into just looking out the window here. It must be I'm getting old, right? <laughs> it just looks so beautiful out there. Look at the golden sunlight on the mall. The mm-hmm. blue sky. The palm trees. Yeah, the birds. Look you know, this is. I, it's snowing in New York City right now. By the way. That is so cool. But that it just looks so, so beautiful here. Forty degrees here. Uh huh. It's going to be cool today, but beautiful. If you're out and about tonight. And uh, you happen to be near the La Cuisine restaurant. Rob and I will be on the sidewalk there. Yep. Oh, can we bring some better <laughs> chairs this time? <laughs> that's, a, that's a slanted sidewalk right there. That's a hill. It is. It is. It's a hill. I feel like I'm falling off of the chair. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's difficult to play while you're on a slant, but we manage. Now, that's a title for a book. <laughs> that's a title for a book. All right, let's see. What do we have in the news today? Um Let's see. Uh, to, to, let's see. Today's version of whooping cough vaccine leaves teens less vulnerable to infection as they age, according to a new study out today. The current vaccine, which has been in use since the 1990s, is safer but less effective than the old version. Mm-hmm. Safer but less effective. The findings could help explain why the USA has seen a resurgence in whooping cough. Oh, my gosh. Children should get five doses of vaccine by kindergarten and a booster at the age of 11 or 12. The Center for Disease Control also recommends adults ages 19 through 64 get mm-hmm. a booster. Oh, okay. So what are they saying? <laughs> okay, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> so from 13 to 18, you don't got to worry about it. Those five years. Right. And then from 65 until you die, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> exactly. But the other parts, I guess that's when the body changes. They figured it out, and you're, you're the They didn't figure anything out. Wait till you hear this other thing I got for oh, you. Oh, okay. I, uh, <laughs> the United Nations rules today, or ruled today. Did they do this already this morning? Maybe. Uh, that WikiLeaks founder, Julian Assange, has been arbitrarily detained by the United Kingdom and Sweden since he was arrested in 2010, and that he should be allowed to leave Ecuador's embassy in London without facing arrest. Hmm. 
The British and Swedish governments disputed the claim. Gosh. Uh, comedian Tracy Morgan is getting ready to bring on the laughs as he crosses the country in a nationwide stand-up comedy tour. I wonder how comfortable he is riding in a car right now. Well, oh, yeah. You know, when I when I was in an accident, anytime I've been in an accident, even the last one, with the cow, I, I was always nervous to get back into a car. Mm-hmm. Not so, It didn't take that long with the cow one. I, I got back in kind of right away, but mm-hmm. I've, I had an accident... Uh, on, on 484, you know. Yes. How many years ago was that? And it took me about a whole year before I got comfortable again driving. I drove right away. I just didn't feel comfortable. Anyway, yeah. so Tracy Morgan is um, on a nationwide stand-up comedy tour, I guess, beginning today. His first tour since the 2014. Wow, that's how long ago this was already? Wow. Accident in New Jersey in which his car was hit by a Walmart truck. Mm-hmm. The tour officially kicks off today at the Horseshoe Casino in Hammond, Indiana. Gosh. After a series of warm-up shows, the uh, 2014 crash killed a close friend traveling with him and left Morgan in a coma for eight days. One of the things, I saw him on, a, on a, an interview, and Tracy Morgan was saying that, and, and please forgive me for not remembering the man's name who died. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I didn't have it in the article here, but um, he, he um, was coming from a gig and the comedian who died had written a joke and gave it to Tracy Morgan because he thought Tracy Morgan could deliver it better, even though the other guy was also a stand-up comic, right? Mm-hmm. If I understand yes. this right? Right. And so it was a kind of a, a, an interesting thing that happened just before the, the, they were in the accident that he has that memory that he actually delivers. So I, so I wonder if he's going to keep wow. that joke in his... Because a joke to a comedian is like a song to a, perf- uh, to a singing performer. Yes. Right? They have a, a repertoire of jokes. And right. Just like we have a repertoire of songs. Right. Oh, my God. Today marks six months until the opening of Rio de Janeiro Olympics. Oh, oh really? Oh, wow. Uh, that'll be on August 5th. I guess they just want to get that out there. Yeah, I guess so. Everybody's talking about the Super Bowl. We got the Olympics coming up. <laughs> That's right. They're, the they're like seconds. The Zika <laughs> virus, by the way, which we now know how to pronounce it correctly. Yeah. We, there's two ways to do it. It's either Zika or Zika, and we picked Zika, and we were wrong. Yes. It's like every That's time always. every time I go to plug in one of those plugs that only has two prongs, mm-hmm. I always get it wrong the first time. Yeah. <laughs> I too. always have to turn it around every single time. I, I, have you ever noticed this? Mm, yes. Go to I plug. And say, like if you get it right the first time, it, it does happen. I shouldn't say every time, but sometimes I get it right the first time. It's like yes, it's like it's like winning the lottery. It's yeah. like it's like getting three, <laughs> th- three bar things on the on the slot machine. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> and then you look at it, you know, because like it's like, did I really get it right this time? <laughs> it's in it. <laughs> <Make> a mistake. <laughs> uh, but but here's this. Here's something that the younger generation doesn't really remember: getting shocks. I can I can yeah. remember when you plug things in, you always wished. Uh, oh God, I hope I don't get a shock. Who I did it without getting a shock. Yeah, because the cords were fabric. And back then, yeah, they and, were and back then it didn't matter which way you put them in. So <laughs> when we were younger, it didn't matter. You just put it in. Right, exactly. And you had to get your hand off of it real quick because it might have a shock in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Remember that? <laughs> I do. I do. Remember your father telling you, "Don't mm-hmm. pull it out by the cord." Yeah. You got to grab it by the head. That's right. Uh, but daddy, there's <laughs> wires sticking out of it. <laughs> It'll shock me. That's okay. You're tough. All right. So the Zika virus. We went on a tangent there, didn't we? All right. The Zika virus is overshadowing the uh, Olympics. Mm -hmm. The mosquito-borne virus linked to the epidemic of birth defects in Brazil is spreading quickly throughout the Americas. In fact, you might have heard that uh, Nelson, Senator Nelson in Florida wants to have a a Zika czar appointed, somebody who's in charge of the, the Zika virus, I guess. Yeah. I just think the word Zika czar, it sounds like like a Saturday morning cartoon, doesn't it? It, it does. It does. It's time for Zika czar. <laughs> <laughs> right? Doesn't it sound like a cartoon? Yeah. Saturday morning cartoon. I wonder what his logo would be. Big Z. That's right. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, no, this is good. I mean, they're ordering like, what, 1,000 test kits so far for the ladies to take who are yeah. thinking about getting pregnant or who are pregnant. It's so scary. Hey, it's a men's thing, too, because if you get... If it's a, if a man gets bit by this mosquito and has the Zika virus, and then you know they sh- take a shower together, right? Then, <laughs> then he can pass it to her. 
Yes. Organizers yeah. are already monitoring Olympic facilities to destroy breeding grounds for the, I don't even know how to say the name of this mosquito, the Aedes aegypti mosquito that spreads the virus. Wow. 80. Sounds like the number 80s, but it's it A-E-D-E-S. Does. A-E-D-E-S. Gosh. Spike Lee's documentary, Michael Jackson's Journey from Motown to Off the Wall, which chronicles the king of pop's rise from child star to creator of the 1979 pop R&B masterpiece, Off the Wall, airs tonight. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'd like to see that one. It'll be on Showtime. I won't be seeing that one. No, I don't uh, either. An avid Jackson fan, Spike Lee, has chronicled Jackson previously, including the 2012 documentary pegged to the 25th anniversary of Bad, mm-hmm. called Bad 25, and has hosted block parties for Jackson in Brooklyn in the years since his death. The film premiered at the Sundance Film Festival on January 24th. Gosh. There's a morning snowstorm happening right now across the Northeast. I was looking at it on the uh, the webcam this morning in, in Times Square. And this morning it was snow and rain mix. Now it's just snow. Mm-hmm. Gosh. All right, what else do we have here? Um, you want to know how to live stream the Super Bowl? Yes. Okay, let how me tell you how to do, do this. That? Let me tell you how to do this. Okay. CBSSports.com. Simple as that. Wow. CBSSports.com is streaming the Super Bowl. Uh, The CBS Sports Channel app for Apple and Android tablets is also another way to stream the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. CBS Sports Channel app for streaming media players, Roku, Xbox, and Apple TV also. You can also watch on your smartphone. The live stream is only available for Verizon wireless customers that have the NFL mobile app installed. Oh, okay. 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 Only Verizon. There is a workaround, though. There's an ad-supported app by Verizon that will also be live-streaming the Super Bowl for those without Verizon subscriptions. Gosh. So you got to go to the Go90 app, whatever that is. Gosh. And if you want to listen on the radio, I think there's one station in our listening area that has it. I think it's the one at the university. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought I had something else to tell you about this. All right, let me take a break. And we'll be back. We've got more news and fun stuff on the other side. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Part of a mostly sunny today, breezy and cooler. A high of 56 to 61. Some clouds tonight, a low of 40 to 54. Then clouds and sun with rain arriving late in the afternoon tomorrow. The high 61 to 69. Breezy and cooler with clouds and sunshine for Sunday. The high 57 to 60. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Maggie Johnson. Put your money to work. Florida Credit Union has a money market special, 1% APY, until December 31st, 2016. That's right, through December 31st, 2016. $50,000 minimum balance to open and earn dividends. On January 1st, 2017, the account reverts back to a normal account at current rates. Federally insured by the NCUA, Florida Credit Union, enriching people every day. Visit one of Florida Credit Union's convenient locations today or their website, www.flcu.org. Offer ends February 28th, 2016. For some, Valentine's Day means flowers and candy, not for us. Join us for the Valentine's Day Massacre, February 13th at the Southeastern Livestock Pavilion. For seven scheduled bouts of live professional boxing entertainment. Each bout is highlighted with local boxers. So come out and support the future boxing of Cala. First bout starts at 7 and doors open at 6. Proceeds to benefit the Boys and Girls Club. Tickets start at only $15. Get your tickets at Central Florida Boxing, 1032 Southwest 1st Avenue, or call 352-292-2103. Have you heard of HyperDirectory? When looking for local businesses, go to Hyper.Directory. No need for triple W, no need for dot com, just Hyper.Directory. Connecting customers to local companies when it matters most. HyperDirectory is your local business directory partnered with the Ocala Chamber, an economic partnership to bring you trusted local businesses. Keeping Ocala local. Use Hyper.Directory, no triple W, not even dot com, just Hyper.Directory. Connecting customers to businesses when it matters most. 
At Ameris Bank, we understand that there is no purchase more exciting than the purchase of a new home. We are dedicated to helping you find the mortgage that meets your needs and giving you the personal attention you deserve. Our mortgage options offer a variety of benefits, including up to 100% financing, down payment assistance, and expansive credit qualifications, all with the competitive rates and exceptional service. Call Ameris Bank today or visit AmerisBank.com to learn more. We look forward to serving you. Ameris Bank is an equal housing lender and member of FDIC, a loan subject to credit approval. Located in Ocala, Rinstar Medical Research has offered a wide range of clinical research trials for 17 years. Rinstar conducts clinical trials for conditions such as migraines, memory decline, fibromyalgia, and sun-damaged skin. To learn more, call Rinstar at 352-629-5800. Help us create a healthier tomorrow by volunteering today. Please call Rinstar at 352-629-5800. Thank you, buddy. It's uh, 12 minutes before 8 o'clock, and uh, it looks like it's a beautiful day. I know that Tom and Buddy and, and, and Hunter and all the, the folks on the afternoon show, uh, the voice of Cal, I know they were all disappointed yesterday because the rain really interfered with the uh, the, the Coats uh, LPGA uh, mm-hmm. championship game. Yes. But, it's, but it sounded like, I was, I was listening to them, uh, to their show, and it sounds like um, a lot of the ladies were pretty much, they could afford to lose a day. Oh, I, I don't okay. know if or at least the top ones could. It sounds uh-huh. like they had you just a, like I think Lydia Co, is that her name? The uh-huh. one that Hunter was talking about. Wow, that was awesome by the way. Yeah. He sounded like he was having a great time when when Hunter was talking to her. So mm-hmm. But any, anyway, so it sounds like they they will be able to play today, it looks like. Yeah, it does. And in fact, it probably has a, a good chance for some really good crowds today as well. I think so. Oh, it's I a think nice so. day. It's a cool day. It's toward the end of the, the whole thing, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Tomorrow's the big finale, right? And it looks yes. like good weather tomorrow, too. So It does. It looks wonderful. Uh, all right. 40 degrees right now here at the studios. And, uh, you know, when, when I was younger, I worked at the Nassau Coliseum on Long Island. My job, I've said this before, was to basically clean up, set up chairs, take down chairs, mm-hmm. mop up. I was the cleanup guy. I was with the maintenance crew. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one thing I like to tell people all the time is that when there were concerts, I would basically was uh, in <laughs> putting kitty litter on vomit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one one of the things that was kind of a, 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 a cool part about that job is that you got to meet famous people. And in some instances, I didn't even know I was speaking to famous people. And one of those instances was when Earth, Wind & Fire was there. Mm-hmm. Earth, Wind & Fire played the Nassau Coliseum, and and I was helping them move some some wires. They had uh, lots of rolls of wires, and I was helping them move them. And uh, it was just. And then I stopped and I chatted with them a little bit. And then they said, "Yeah, we're with Earth, Wind, and Fire." And I said, "Oh my gosh, really?" Mm-hmm. And so I don't know who I met, uh, but I did. I met them, and, and um, gosh, I would I would have given anything if I could have in those days been invited to play with them. I, I was a musician back then. In, fa- in fact. While I was doing maintenance work at the Nassau Coliseum, right next door at the Holiday Inn, I was playing in the bar. I was playing music in the bar. Mm-hmm. And in fact, some of the musicians came into the bar. The group Sticks uh-huh. came into the bar and sat right in front of the little stage we were on, and we played for Sticks. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> which is kind of a cool story. <laughs> so anyway, the reason I'm, cool. I'm reminded of Earth, Wind, and Fire is because there was a story this morning uh, that Maurice White died. He was one of the. Oh. He was like the main guy in Earth, Wind, and Fire. I guess you could say. Uh, let's see, let's see. How old was he? He was seventy-four years old. Gosh. He he was one of the founding members, or maybe the founding member. Maurice White died yesterday at the age of seventy-four. Shining star. That's the way the, of the world. September. Sing a song. Fantasy. Reasons. All songs you probably know by heart if you mm-hmm. hear if you hear them. Yes. Uh, he helped write all of those hits. Uh, the one-time Sessions drummer who played with Ramsey Lewis's jazz trio in the 1960s mm-hmm. also served as a principal producer of EWF's music, Earth, Wind & Fire's music, uh, steeped in jazz and funk as well as Latin influences, but as luxuriantly pop-savvy as any AM radio classics of the time, <laughs> which you had to be, by the way. Yeah. If you, if you, and you still have to be, by the way. Mm-hmm. It's just that what you knew back then is not applicable to what you need to know today if you're trying to make records for for uh, the mainstream. Right, exactly. Anyway, so uh, Maurice White, a name from the past. Oh, he'll be missed. His talents. 
you know, very talented guys. Yeah. It's just so scary that a lot of the entertainers are, you know, as soon as January 1st hit. That's what it seems like, passing, yeah, doesn't passing it? Passing away, yeah. Doesn't it seem like that? Yeah. Speaking of Earth, Wind & Fire, let me tell you about Earth. Okay. Let me tell you about Planet Earth. <laughs> this is one of the things, this is one of the stories where I think, well, they don't know this. Mm-hmm. Planet Earth is actually two planets, according to a study. Okay. They, they don't know this. <laughs> according to a study by use from UCLA, published in Science Magazine, a planetary embryo named Thea, T-H-E-I-A, okay. c- collided with the early Earth and split evenly into two parts. One subsumed by the Earth, and another that became the Earth's moon. That's, okay. not, that's not two equal parts. No, no, it is not. Scientists already knew about Earth and Thea's collision. They already knew about this. <laughs> I never studied that in school. But they thought it was just a glancing side blow. Mm-hmm. It sounds like a children's book. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a glancing side blow. No. New research suggests that the crash was much more violent. If the collision had been a side blow, they say, Mm -hmm. (laughs) they stayed up waiting, worrying about this. Yeah, I know. If the collision had been a side blow, the moon would be made up largely of Thea. Oh. Oh. But no, the moon is made up largely of Earth. What? Edward Young, UCLA professor of geochemistry and the cosmochemistry and lead author of the study, explained in a news release. Okay. Lucy? (laughs) We don't see any difference. (laughs) I can't do the accents. He said, we don't see any difference between the Earth's and the Moon's oxygen isotopes. Okay. This, this is a really big difference between the Earth and the Moon's oxygen. Trust me. I would think so. Anyway, anyway I mean, we have I'm making fun of this guy. He's way smarter than me. He says they're indistinguishable. Thea was thoroughly mixed into both the Earth and the Moon and evenly dispersed between them. This explains why we don't see a different signature of Thea in the Moon versus the Earth. Hmm. Hence, Earth is really a composite of two planets. There you go. There's the evidence. There's the proof. <laughs> Earth and Thea. <laughs> Some scientists, including Young, believe Thea was approximately the same size as the Earth mm-hmm. and would have continued growing had the collision not occurred. Okay. Planets grow. Yes. All right. I wonder, sure you know, what, when, I, when I put these stories together, I often wonder which one... Do you take with you all day long and repeat to your friends? Which one do you take and say, did you hear? Did yes. you hear this story? Yes. <laughs> I'm betting the next one is the one. <laughs> okay. You might tell your friends that Maurice White died. Yes. You might tell your friends, oh, you know, the earth is really two planets. I don't get it either. Mm-hmm. You might you might, you might, might tell your friends, ah, they got the Zika, the Zika guy. That's right. The Zika, Zika czar. The Zika czar. Zika czar. You might even say, just steal my joke. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a Saturday morning cartoon. Yeah, right. You might just steal my... That's okay. You can steal the joke. But I think the next story is the story that you're going to carry with you somewhere else. Okay. It takes some serious style to attract eyeballs while surrounded by actresses at an adult film award show. Okay. But Anthony Berg had one thing no other red carpet walker had. Really? Anthony had an army service uniform on. (laughs) <laughs> okay. <laughs> a sergeant in the Army Reserve. He spent eight years on active duty. Berg attended the annual Adult Video News Awards in Las Vegas as the guest of adult actress Mercedes Carrera. Okay. <laughs> who held a contest offering a free trip to the show to a current or former service member. So he applied. Oh. The unit supply specialist entry was one of about 250 that the star received. This is this is why calling them porn stars is the word star doesn't really apply. You get two hundred fifty responses. Yes, right, exactly. And where was I when all this, you know, press was leaking out there as to the contest and stuff? We didn't see anything oh, about the contest. Wow. Who says I didn't see it? Right? Oh, that's right. I might have seen. It. <laughs> you could have. Anyway, <laughs> most fellow. most of the entries were from service members recommending their friends for the honor. <laughs> 
Most of the friends politely declined. I bet they did. She selected five finalists and let a few associates in the adult film industry make the final call. Uh Uh-huh. She says, being an adult film actress has a lot of pros and cons. Yeah. But one of the pros is that you have a platform. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. She frequently says, she says she frequently discusses veterans' issues on her YouTube channel. Uh I have to look that up. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Well, she's got a cool porn name, though. She says her father serves in Vietnam. She says people will notice what you do if you're an adult film star. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Your name's not a household. It's a great opportunity to use that platform for something valuable. (laughs) Uh, He's kind of your everyday soldier, Carrero said. He's not Rambo. It wasn't about that. Berg's win came with a bonus. He probably doesn't like that. Berg's win came with a bonus. Uh Did you hear this? (laughs) Carrera also flew the sergeant's wife out for the event. Oh. So Mrs. Berg was there as well. I thought you were going to say that he would have a starring role opposite her in her new film. No, no, no. He's a married man. Well... She was all for it because it was Vegas, the sergeant said of his wife, Tara Berg. Mm -hmm. He said she loves Vegas. That was the big thing for her and a free trip. She knew what Carrera did, but it's not like she was following her or anything. (laughs) He doesn't know what to say. When she asked me if I knew who she was, had I ever seen any films, I said maybe. (laughs) (laughs) Tara Berg declined an interview request, however, but Carrera said the sergeant's wife... Uh, scored some big points. I bet. <laughs> like anyone else on awards night, Anthony Berg needed to pick a nice outfit. Unlike anyone else, he got he had to get clearance. I bet he did. <laughs> he said, my big question to my superiors at Appleton, Wisconsin Base Reserve Unit was, is it going to be a problem if I wear my dress uniform to the adult <laughs> cinema award ceremony? <laughs> they didn't see a problem with it. I've been reading in the regulations, trying to see if there was a a problem, (laughs) trying to find some concrete evidence that this would be something I shouldn't do. (laughs) Didn't say anything. So I'm doing it. Well, good for him. And he did it, as a matter of fact. So there he went to the award ceremony. It's 15 minutes of fame. Wow. Mrs. Berg got some spending money to play the slot machines while he was at the award show. You don't think she was at the show? <laughs> well, I would love was. to hear the categories of awards, wouldn't you? Yes, I would, too. I mean, what? <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> All right, we will take a little break. When Galen comes on, we got a little game we're going to play with Galen. The 50 okay. trivia questions from the Super Bowl. From the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. Democrats vying for the White House go one-on-one. Hillary Clinton calling Bernie Sanders' suggestions she's beholden to Wall Street interests a very artful smear. Sanders pushing back. Let's talk about why in the 1990s Wall Street got deregulated. Did it have anything to do with the fact that Wall Street provided, spent billions of dollars on lobbying and campaign contributions? Debate on MSNBC coming just days before the New Hampshire primary. Stock futures in the green ahead of a key report out this morning. Experts are predicting the economy will have added 190,000 new non-farm jobs to payrolls in January, and the unemployment rate will likely remain at 5%. Fox Radio's Rachel Sutherland the search for the Missouri couple suspected in a crime spree ending in Florida early today. Authorities say the man's dead, the woman's in custody. Fox News, we report, you decide. Who said that? Me, down here. (gasps) What are you, a yellow booger? I'm a banana slug, Steven. Well, uh, what are you doing in my room? I'm your sense of adventure. Don't you remember me? Don't you know that we miss you? Miss me? Who misses me? You know, all your friends in the forest. The trees, the pond, that little fort that you made out of branches. We all miss you. Mom took me to the forest last year. I'm a slug, Steven. It took me a long time to get here. Oh, I guess that makes sense. This forest is not that far away. Have an adventure today. I'm sure your mom would take you. You're right. I should get out. I want to have fun. Play in puddles, catch frogs, and climb trees. Hey, Mom! Yeah, hon? <gasps> Steve, 
Caitlin, what is that in your hand? It's my sense of adventure, Mom. It's telling me we need to get out of the house and have some fun in nature today. Come to the forest where the more adventurous you lives. Check out discovertheforest.org for cool places nearby. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. Okay guys, listen up. It's that time of year again. Little chocolate hearts, roses, earrings, Valentine's Day's coming up. Last year you got me slippers that didn't fit. The year before, it was a steering wheel cover for my car. And don't even get me started on the vacuum cleaner incident. Now don't get me wrong, flowers and jewelry would be nice, but this year I'd like something I can thank you for every single day. That new bathroom I've been dreaming about. You know, the one with the rain heads, body sprayers, touchless faucets, bodet, and even the seat warmer. Mm. So here's what you do. Step one, return the crock pot and apron that you thought were good ideas. Step two, pick up the phone and call Mike Scott Plumbing now. You heard the lady, guys. Call today to schedule an appointment to visit one of our beautiful showrooms, the main showroom in Hernando or the new showroom in Wildwood right across from Brownwood Square. Call today, 237-2888. That's 237-2888. And remember, if water runs through it, we do it. Mike Scott Plumbing. And that leaf blower in the closet better be for your mother. Find forests of fun, make mountains of memories, discover your room with a view at the Ocala RV Show. North Central Florida's largest RV show is February 4th through 7th at the Florida Horse Park. Tour hundreds of RVs, local dealers competing for your business. Register to win a $100 gas card every day. No purchase necessary. Thursday through Saturday, 9 to 5, Sunday 10 to 4. Adults $5, kids under 16 free. Buy one, get one free Thursday. And military active or retired save 2 bucks every day. The Ocala RV Show. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Research tells us that exercise makes us 